Hey guys, today I'm going to show you uh, an, a theme, a uh, rather new theme that just is super popular at the moment. Uh, but it's new, so if you don't know about it, that's understandable. It's called Dark Star. It is made by an XDA developer named um, Freaky Froggy. And um, it's got to be the best theme I've ever tried, uh, hands down. Um, let's get into it. As you can see on my home screen, it is very, very heavily themed. That is the clock right there. Like, literally, that's the clock. That's not just on the wallpaper. Uh, and the Google bar, the Google search bar is also really themed. Coolest thing about this theme, though, are the animations that he, uh, I guess, put in the theme. Check it out. Pretty badass, right? It like slides up and then slides back down. I'm, I'm really digging it. And there's really no lag at all with this theme. It's, it's the cleanest it could be. Um, this is version, let me check, I have my computer right here. This is version, uh, oh crap, where is it? Um, nom, nom, nom. This is version, uh, 0.6.5 so it is not version 1.0 yet which means 1.0 should be even more epic than this already is and this is pretty epic um, my favorite theme hands down like I said um, a little bit about the theme I always call it a ROM it's just it's that good a <laughs> uh, couple things the top corners they are rounded you can see there, it goes all the way across, and then it just kind of rounds down. A little bit on the bottom, too. Don't mind the scratches. Um, so it that just makes it, I think, look really a lot, in other words, sexier. This is, this is a sexy thing. What really takes into effect with the rounded corners are, is the app drawer, because it creates a, uh, when it comes up, it creates another rounded area below it. So that's what it looks like with the app drawer up. And then you can see it sliding down. It looks like literally it's coming out and covering the home screen. Which is really cool. And like I said, it's no lag at all. It's just really, really smooth. I haven't, I just flashed this literally 10 minutes ago. So I came from a different ROM, the Super D ROM, uh, which was giving me some problems. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit later. Um, so I don't have anything on here yet, but I'm sure it will still be as fast when I set everything up. Um, it has five screens, as you can see there. Interesting thing, I don't know why, um, again with the cool animation. Um, he didn't include any of the uh, wallpapers that was, on, that, like the standard wallpaper right there. He didn't include that in the wallpaper gallery at all. I, so I don't know why. I guess if you want to use that wallpaper and you change it previously, you're going to have to reflash the ROM or download it from somewhere, um, which would probably be a, a better bet. But I'm going to keep this wallpaper because I think it looks pretty, pretty nice. I've said pretty twice. Uh, gee, I'm rhyming now. See? I get all creative when a camera's right here on my hands. Another thing besides the app drawer that uh, really takes advantage of the uh, curved edges is the uh, notification tray panel thing. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have like a touch here to drag down thing on the bottom there. It's just just a black line, and it goes to the bottom. And it's you can see as I go up or am coming down, those sides are rounded as well, right there which is very, very nice. I really, really like that part. Um, some people don't like it, I think they're crazy. Um, some people think I'm crazy though, because that little guy right there, the little blurry guy that you can't see anything, that little guy right there, the battery. With this theme, I get usually about 10 to 12 hours of battery a day. Um, 
it's insane. Uh, I'm not saying that you will get this much battery when you flash uh, this theme, but uh, me and a friend both got uh, a lot, tons of battery life out of this theme. Um, the developer doesn't know how he did it, uh, so a little bit about what I'm running underneath the theme. Cyanogen, that's my mod that I'm using. Um, this also supports, um, the Dark Star theme also supports uh, Dwing, and for every uh, build of Cyanogen or Dwing or Enom, um, he updates this uh, theme within the night of when they change it. Something that I almost left out that's really important to me is the lock screen. It is not Sterics and lock screen, which I like. <clears throat> I mean, I like that it's not Sterics and lock screen, because that drains a ton of battery. Uh, don't know why, but it's just a really real battery eater. Uh, you can flash an additional package, uh, .zip package, that'll let you use the Sterikin lock screen on this, um, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, everything is standard 1.6, uh, except for, like, the, the fonts have changed, he changed the font, see that there, see those. Every, all the fonts are changed, um, but like the applications are, are mostly, I think, all themed. The dialer definitely is. It's uh, call log. Yeah, it's it's all dark themed. Let's go into the browser just to show you that. What that's looking like. Achieving sign in details. Okay. Like I said, I just flashed this, so... Oh, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi yet. Cool. But, as you can see, everything is the same except for the font, which is different. New. Better. I actually like it better. Um, some of you guys won't. Um, mark it. All the same. It's going to ask me to sign into Gmail. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so if you have any questions about this ran, oh my god, about this theme, go ahead and uh, hit me up in the comments on either YouTube or DroidDog.com, and head over, head on over to DroidDog.com to see additional posts uh, that don't include videos from me, John, and Andrew, um, that maybe you won't see if you don't go. Unless you probably follow us on Twitter, then you will get a link. Um, but that is about it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Carlos Graves. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Carlos Graves. I'll reply to any questions you have, uh, any problems you are having with ROMs, RAM, themes, anything at all. I will help you. I uh, hope you had a good holiday, and I will see you guys next time. Have a very good night or day, depending where you are and what time you're watching this. See you guys later.